We are in New Jersey today with our Labs of Democracy 2022, focusing on climate and energy issues. And you are a state um, legislator from New Jersey, our host, so to say. Um, why is New Jersey the perfect place to discuss energy and climate? Well, first of all, welcome to the state of New Jersey. I think New Jersey is one of the few states that are really, really leading the United States in where we're going to find the energy that we need for the future. So right now we're very dependent on nuclear and on uh, gas, but we know we need to look to other areas that we can provide energy. So things like windmill offshore, uh, solar, a uh, better use of, of uh um, uh, other sources other than what we're using now uh, all comes to mind and I think being able to interact with uh, Germany to find out what you're doing, how you're working, how you're spending your development for hydrogen all are critical areas and I think New Jersey is great because we're addressing all those issues and coming here to Princeton we're able to see what they're doing both here and later on the week uh, over at Stevens Tech as well as we move to, to find better sources of clean energy for our future. So in our project we are bringing together state legislators. Um, why, do you, why would you say are states so important when we talk about climate and energy issues? So in the United States, when the country was formed, uh, we developed a constitution that specifically limited what the federal government could do. Anything that's not in the constitution belongs to the states. So the states have a lot of authority, a lot of power. And so it's very important that each state be working independently on finding better sources. But just as you've seen in Europe coming together, we too in the United States realize that we need to work with our neighboring states and indeed uh, throughout the world as we look for better sources of providing cleaner energy for our future. From talking with your German colleagues, is there something you are already taking away, what you have learned? Yes, uh, we were very impressed when we went to Germany. I, I can tell you, uh, going to a, a, a solar wind farm and hearing how quiet it was, and indeed uh, all we heard was the uh, a uh, farmer actually using the tractor uh, and seeing how much energy produced. More creative ways of using the energy, like using uh, the waste from a farm to actually create the energy to heat homes. The much better source that Germans are using once they have the energy to heat the homes uh, with the energy that they have were all critical. And because we had so many concerns about the ability to build 90 story towers in the ocean uh, for these windmills, it was wonderful to come to Germany, go to the plant and actually see the actual construction that was uh, over there. And then finally, it was wonderful to see the research and development that you're doing with how we can use hydrogen, whether we're mixing it with gas or we're using it independently, and how we can lower the cost, because hydrogen is certainly one of those solutions to our future. So I think we learned all of that, and there was wonderful interaction. Uh, with some great uh, leadership from uh, the German uh, country to, to see how things are done there. And is there something you think the German colleagues should and could learn from New Jersey? Well, I think we're all moving in the same area, and I think in general we have the same agreement. How do we provide energy that we can create within our country? independently, and then how can we do it cleaner? And then what will be available in 10 years, in 50 years, in 100 years? We're on the same page. So working together and sharing ideas is certainly, I think, what this uh, uh, project is all about. And I, I'm just delighted to be part of it. Thank you so much for having us in New Jersey.